server. Server's different from Crisis 1 as you don't just press a button and it creates a local server on your computer where you don't have to put forward anything. In this one you have to put forward, you have to type uh, text into a document. So it's quite tricky um, depending on how good you are with computers and creating servers. Well, to do this you actually need to download a file off the internet which is called the Crisis 2 Dedicated Server Community Server Software. Um, it's on my Crisis, I'll show you the link now and creating these servers are uh, these servers aren't ranked so uh, just type in SDK as it will come up the SDK page and it's also got the Crisis 2 servers on it uh, this is what you want the Crisis 2 community dedicated server you can download the Crisis 2 mod SDK package if you want that's to create your own um, maps for the servers but I'm not going to be showing you how to do that today. Uh, I'll probably do that in another tutorial. So what you have to do is download it. After you've downloaded it, go to a where obviously you've downloaded it. Um, open up Crisis 2 Community, community Dedicated Server 1.9. Once you've opened it, you should see this support game Crisis 2 binfo 2 dedicated.cfg. So once you've done that, go to where you've actually installed Crisis 2 open Crisis 2 and you should see all your files then you will want to get the game Crisis 2 go into game Crisis 2 open up this copy the scripts folder into this folder and I've already got scripts in here there is no other scripts it's just the dedicated server scripts and then after that bin32 once again bin32 uh, copy the Crisis 2 dedicated server exe into here and it should look like this this down here that there obviously and once you've done that back up and copy this dedicated.cfg into the dedicate into the um, crisis 2 directory so you should see it there right here and after you've done that you're gonna want to look in you can look in support it's up to you it's just got a PDF file if you want it I don't really use it it was it was alright I just didn't find it helpful at all to be honest just gives you a bit more detail than maybe my uh, tutorial is going to give you. There was another tutorial on YouTube how to make this Crisis 2 dedicated server, but I didn't find it as good because um, some bits it didn't include. But I will include everything you have to do. So once you've installed it, you can get rid of this. Uh, open dedicated.cfg. I'm going to do open it with no plus plus plus. Uh, what you want to do is you see this here. You want to go create a new Crisis account on Crisis 2 using a different name and a different email so that you can create a new account that is just for your dedicated server not for playing or anything so you want your account you originally created for playing this new one for dedicated server so you, what you're going to want to do is put in your new name there put in your password and obviously this is default 64200 is the port that you have to port forward go into your router port forward the port I'm not going to show you how to do that but um, as long as you know how to port forward, just uh, obviously 6420 is the port you have to port forward. So once you've done that, save it. I'm not going to save it. Uh, then you want to go to right click and new, then text document, because we're going to want to make this level rotation.xml. So just type whatever you want. Um, I'm going to type stuff. Open it up with whatever notepad. Um, then go save as, then delete the stuff, go level rotation.xml you want, just type that all lowercase and add .xml at the end, then go from text document to all files on that little slider there, then save, I'm not going to save it because I've already got one, and so already got everything I want, so once you've saved it you can delete your stuff, and you can, you'll see this, if you open it, just edit, notepad, whatever. Uh, you won't see all this, it will be blank for you, but I've already put this in. I'll copy and paste this in the description so you can actually uh, look at, uh, copy and paste it in. You'll see level rotation name, assault, that's just the game mode. You can change it from assault, crash site, extraction, 
team deathmatch, capture the flag, instant action, team in instant action, whatever. I might have said some of those over twice. Just change it to whatever want. I find assaults better. I just like it. it reminds me of the hidden. Uh, after that, you type server info, as this is going to be your server info right here. Uh, you got your name, mine's four noobs, password, I didn't put password because I want other people to join. MOTD, which is the message of the day, I just put that. Uh, max players, I put max players of 8, you can go up to 16, but I found 8 was better. You can put HTTP, which I find is okay, but that's just adding a picture to your server if you don't want to, um, if you don't, if you want people to see a picture when they're going on your server. I didn't really bother, it's just me for my friends and some other people who want to join. Uh, variant name, this can be different, it can be standard. If it's standard you don't need any of this here or any of this here. You need this down here, just delete those two parts and then once you launch it through the server .exe here, it will just come up and it will work and you can just go on Crisis 2 and play. Otherwise what you want is you want to, if you want custom, so you can edit all the stuff, like if you want to edit um, max health multiplier, you put 1, you can put 0 if you don't want it. If you want friendly fire to be on, off, you can put a 1 if you want it to be on, you can put a 0 if you want it to be off. If you want headshots on, people only be able to kill you by headshots, you put a 1, just, or 0, I put 0. This one here is the one that you're going to want, if you want uh, custom maps, you put that as a 1 if you want custom maps, and you're going to need... Uh, to put custom maps down here. If you don't, uh, just put a zero, and you'll just have the normal custom, the normal normal maps, just the basic maps that you come with Crisis 2, which are just these ones down to here, city, church, you know, all that stuff. And once you've done that, you put custom, you've put all this in, uh, put variant server info there. Then you want to put the level name and all the levels that are in here. The rotation, level rotation. I didn't know this. It didn't say on the last tutorial, so you're going to have to do it. I obviously didn't do it. Uh, you're going to want to put level name, wars, CW2, whatever the level is. You can just copy and paste mine. I won't include these three down here as they're custom. But this is where it's the directory of where it is. You go into Crisis 2, then you go into Game Crisis 2, then you go into Levels then wars at the bottom and then you see all the levels that you have in there once you've done that you put the game rule it could be instant action, team instant action, whatever it said on the internet if you're going to put a custom one otherwise no um, obviously you install your custom ones by putting them in the wars folder and they should say CW2 otherwise they're probably single player maps which you put in a different place and we're going to explain it and after you've done all that you put level rotation at the end and you're done so file, you know, save it I'm not going to save it because don't want to mess anything up. Right, so after you've done that, you want to exit this. Then you want to go into your Crisis 2 dedicated sh shortcut. I created one for my original. Then once that's done, you'll see this CMD window pop up. You'll see all this writing here. And it will show this at the bottom. Just wait a little while. It should pop up. There we are. Right, what you should get is Lobby creating socket on port 64200. Then you should get Lobby did not create socket on port 6420. If you get that, that means that it hasn't created the port because you haven't logged in to My Crisis with your new Crisis account. You have to do that if you want to play, if you want your new Crisis account to be connected with your dedicated server. I didn't know that, so I had to go the hard way of finding it out. Then after you've done that, it should just come up with it's loaded on 8185.0 sec. If it comes up with that and you're doing a standard server, then you're fine, you can just quickly go play on it, whatever. If you've done that and it's custom server, and none of this appears up down here, that means you've done the level rotation XML wrong, so you're going to have to go redo that and check all the capital letters, the numbers and stuff, so you've actually got it right. Um, if this all appears and you've got your custom loadouts here, and you see at the bottom, no level map, that doesn't mean that you got no level, it just means no one's on your server because no one really wants to play a server that's just zero um, zero people on it. Uh, the rules here is assault, whatever you chose, game mode on the top of uh, the level rotation XML. I've chose assault. And then that should be it. That should show it's working and I'll show you in a bit how to find your server on Crisis 2. Alright, I'm back. Uh, 
and I'm going to show you how to get your multiplayer server of Crisis dedicated server to work on the multiplayer of Crisis 2. So all you have to do is you go join match. Once you have your server up and running, it's all up and running. You go on here, and if I'm right, I should see four noobs. If I see it, just go by server name. There we are. This is my server. So you've got four noobs. Assault, down bird, custom, zero out of eight. But just join. See, this is on the loading screen. It's all working. It's not uh, ranked, so you won't get any XP or anything for it. But it'll work. You can see my little um, tag at the top there. My MOTD, Mr. of the Day, and yeah, you can see it's up there. And this is it. And it will just work like any other server. Just have to wait for other players in case um well, you know, you have to wait about 15 seconds, that's what I put on the timer length, start timer length. In the custom uh, level rotation file. Alright, and here it is. Alright squad, hack the terminal, stay out of sight, it's that simple. Obviously, see everything. So um just the same really. All works. It's just showing server and I hope you like this tutorial. Comment and subscribe if you want any help with uh, getting it to work. Bye.